You know, there are some really great dumbbell style pedals out there, and I've got a couple of great ones here for you. The New X Steel Singer and the Outlaw FX Dumbleweed. But how do they sound against each other? Stay tuned and find out. Well, hey there, it's Scott at the Pedal Guy. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm going to do a pedal versus pedal on the Steel Singer versus the Dumbleweed uh, from Outlaw FX. These are both two extremely different uh, pedals because they're both based on different uh, Dumble models. The Steel Singer is based on the Steel String Singer and the Dumbleweed is based on a D-Style. So you are going to get a completely different sound between them. However, I think they have a lot of great characteristics that make them a good potent pairing. So hopefully in this video you'll get to hear uh, a little bit of what I hear and enjoy them for what they are, which are both a couple of really great pedals. Let's get to it. All right, so we're looking down here at the Steel Singer and the Dumbleweed. I'm going to start with the Steel Singer for this demonstration because it's a bit more mellow of a tone, and then we'll switch over to the Dumbleweed. So uh, let's get to it. Alright, now let's switch over to the Dumbleweed, and here's what we got. Alright, so right off the top, there is definitely a difference between the two. Um, especially when it comes to power chords. Now when you play full chords between these two pedals there is going to be absolutely a pretty big difference but this is one of the things about the Dumble sound though that's really good is that it doesn't matter which one it is they both sound really good with with uh, full chords so if I just play like a full E chord and just switch to like the Steel Singer it just sounds really nice and jangly uh, moving over to the Dumbleweed. It's a little darker, um, and I haven't really used the voice knob here in this case. I've turned it kind of down for the moment because I'll, I'll do a little demo on what that sounds like in a couple of minutes. Now let's take a listen to how these two pedals sound when I make adjustments to the gain. Now let's move to the Dumbleweed here and I'll do the same thing. So the gain knob is right here. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Now let's just try a couple of blues licks here. So I've switched to the neck pickup, um, and uh, which gives me that nice, nice bluesy tone there. Uh, I've also made a couple of adjustments to gain and to the uh, EQ on both of the pedals here, and you're going to notice a huge, huge difference in the way that they sound uh, once you really start whipping those uh, licks out. So let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 
So listening to the Dumbleweed, the Dumbleweed's got a much more uh, pronounced overdrive, like right there on top of everything. And I haven't even started playing with the with the voice knob here. This is one of the secret weapons of the of the Dumbleweed. Is that uh, just turn it on real quick here? Uh, just start playing with that voice knob, and you're going to hear a huge difference in the way that it shapes the overdrive sound. So uh, let me just play with that real quick. dark to really brassy uh, and you can go even further with that with the with the tone knob obviously if I move back to the bridge pickup so you know if we were in a wrestling match now I'd say you know point dumbleweed as far as uh, having a little more versatility over the overall EQ curve of the overdrive effect. But I have to say both of them have their charms as far as how they really sound uh, when compared to each other. So you kind of just have to check for yourself. And of course, I've got two full demos of both of these pedals. Um, but, hmm, what would it sound like if we stacked both of the pedals at the same exact time? <laughs> That wraps up this demo. Now I know what you're saying to yourself. You're saying, Scott, you haven't told me which one to buy. This one or this one? Well, here's the kicker, guys. They're both under $100. In fact, the Steel Singer is under 50 bucks. So getting both of them for under $100 actually is a pretty inviting proposition. But as far as how they sound against each other, as I said at the beginning of this video, they're not based on the same exact Dumble models. So there are going to be some pretty stark differences between them. And you can also watch both of the videos that I've got on my channel. I'll leave links in the video description so you can check them out for yourself. And then you can make up your own mind. They both have their pluses, they both have their minuses, they both complement each other very well, I think. But again, it's all up to you. Anyway, take care and we'll see you soon. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com where I love pedals and so do you.